doing fine. Uh, I want to ask you the same question. How are you doing there? Well, um, I guess I'm doing all right. Well, uh, do you have peace with God, Mary Sue? Um, well, I, uh, I hope so, sir. Uh, I hope, I, I certainly hope I do. <laughs> yeah, how about you? Huh? You got peace with God? Oh, you kind of look at me like I'm looking at him. <laughs> like a deer in the headlights. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me share a verse with you from the book of John, chapter 3, verse 36. Oh, okay. Yeah, I like to hear the Bible. <laughs> you like to hear the Bible, too? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. Yeah. And he who does not believe in the Son shall not see life. Oh, yeah. But the wrath of God abides on him. Oh, yeah. So do you have peace with God, Mary Sue? Um, well, I, I hope so. Um, I mean, I hope I have. Well, let me read this verse again. Maybe you didn't hear it too well. Oh, OK. I'm trying to focus there, all right? All right. He who has the son. OK, ready? You got that? Yeah, yeah I have it. Have it. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. All right. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. Uh -huh. And he who does not believe the Son shall not see light. Uh -huh. But the wrath of God abides in him. So, Mary Sue. Yeah. So, do you have peace with God? Um, um, well, I guess I do. Um, I mean, I hope I do. <laughs> oh, I hate being put in a spot like this. <laughs> What do you think? What should I say? Huh? Well, I'm not sure. Well, let me read the verse again. Okay, John 3, 36. Now listen very, very carefully. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life. Oh. And he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides in him. So, do you have peace with God, Mary Sue? what the problem is. What's the problem here? See, when I grew up, has meant has. Yeah. When you grew up, has meant I hope so. Oh! I like it! <laughs> oh, yeah, I had an epiphany up here. <laughs> yeah! So the God's word says I had it, so I don't So, so that's good. That's something that, that you should have, right? Yeah, I guess it's something I should have. But you know, a lot of people don't have that. And some people have a divided heart. And there was a lady in the Bible who had a divided heart. And she turned back. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Our Lot's wife, yeah. She had a divided heart and she was walking away from Son and God told her not to look back at the glitter in the party life. <laughs> yeah, the glitter in the party life is really good. Yeah, right down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you talking over there. The party life. Yeah. But she didn't listen to God. She turned around and God turned her into a pillar of salt. She was caught dead. And sin. And yeah, how do you feel about that? Well, I think God made me for more than that, being a pile of salt. I don't know you kids. Did not think God make you for more than that? That they caught dead and sin like her? Lot's wife? I think so. But you have to have peace with God. And you have to give God your whole heart. Uh, you think a divided heart is good enough? Huh? <coughs> you think? Huh? Uh, you think that if Jesus had a divided heart, he would have hung on that cross? Uh, I don't think so. Uh, no. See, if Jesus gave his all, we need to give our all. Amen! And 
So don't have a divided heart. Have peace with God, like that Bible verse says, and give God your whole heart. And not have the heart. And everybody said, Amen! <laughs> okay, I gotta go back in my little trunk now, all right? Uh, don't go away. Oh, I got some tinsels up there for you. Grab about three of these, okay? Don't you got a shirt on, all right? Because <laughs> it's flat at the end. All right.